Hi everybody, uh, just Dwight Cock Cochran here. I just wanted to do a little video tutorial today over on a new method of creating unique content that I've come up with, and it's because of a couple of new tools that have come out since the beginning of this year, and one just recently actually, I think it came out the beginning of last week, if I remember right. I think I got in on the early bird on it anyways. Uh, they're called the the tools are Spinner Chief 3 and Content Ferret. Um, Content Ferrets by John Leger, and you can see the the website right here. And then the other one is Spinner Chief, and they've come up with uh, the Spinner Chief 3 Ultimate version. And this thing rocks. That's all I can say about it is if you're spinning content and using Word AI and paying monthly for it with Spinner Chief 3 you won't have to do that anymore but if you don't get the ultimate version there's no point in really buying this if you already have the best spinner or something because they're about equal that way but the ultimate version is leaps and bounds ahead of the best spinner and you couple that with Content Ferret for creating some content and you guys should have no problem creating as much unique content as you want. So let's get started here a bit and I'm just going to show you what I what I do. Let's go into Content Ferret and this is the in interface of, of it and this is the categories that what what Content Ferret is doing actually for you, let's just explain it, is it's going out to the internet and scraping content for you based on all kinds of different keywords. You can see some of them right here just for the acne niche and then they have all these different categories as well and they're adding to these all the time. They've added, I don't know, when a, well, for beginning of last week there was only like a half a dozen or so here and they've got all these these in here already and I'll just scroll down you can see the list is pretty long just for acne and that's just the first page you can actually page through and get all kinds of different different keywords content on those keywords so let's just do an example here let's go into let's just start with finance a typical tutorial these days is payday loans so let's see what it brings up for that so it's found a keyword there that is searching which I've typed in you can actually just search under finance and bring up a whole bunch of different keywords or categories subcategories under under finance or you can type in the exact keyword you're looking for and then content fair will go out and well it'll show you all the the contents it's sourced already and this is on the, the left hand side here is different subcategories under payday loans and then you can page through and it went back into some more here so we just go back so we went into the finance okay, let's go back into payday loans I guess if it had more than just the one page it would let you go go through them but I think it only had the sub one page of subcategories for payday loans there so anyways it's gonna bring back 3128 matching snippets each of these little pieces of text is called a snippet it lets you go through and you can save them and scroll through them and and preview preview them like this and when you save them it'll add them to this this list here snippets and you can also see the whole article where it's coming from and if you see other other snippets inside here you can save those as well and what I'm doing with this let's just start with PD loans here is I'm taking this source content and I'm building an article around it 
I'm saving the, each snippet, building an article, 500, 600, 700 words, however, you, however long you want it. And then I'm taking it and putting it into Spinner Chief over here. Spinner Chief and using the Super Spin feature, I'm spinning it and getting unique articles. Well, they're one of a kind. Yeah, you're not going to get multiples from it, but it's a unique article that's easy to read and you can post it basically on your tier 1 blogs, your niche blogs, your web 2.0 sites and link to your money site with these because they're very good articles. Other things you can do with uh, Content Ferret is once you build your your article Let's just build one here. So I'm going to save a few snippets. Just build a short little article. There. And let's go into a, a subcategory. Um, let's go, how about credit history? Let's add a couple of these snippets too. this one. Okay, we got five now. I'll just show you what that looks like. You can see we have 252 words of research and anytime you change a, a category to a, a subcategory it actually breaks it up for you. So you can actually use these as H, H3, H1 tags or however you want on your articles or just bold them for subcategories and that, that works pretty nice and it organizes it for you. So let's try a couple more just to add to that. Um, how about interest rates? Four hundred and ninety-four snippets. Again. So we'll just add a couple of these. Usually I go through and read the, the little blurbs just to make sure it's written pretty good, because sometimes there's the odd article in here that's not written the, the best in the best English. But so we'll do that. Now I got seven. Let's open this up. So let's just work with that then. I have three hundred and twenty five. So now what uh content fair let's gives you a few options to play with this as well. So what I do is I just select all this, copy and paste it into spinner chief and spin it. But you can also spin it here by clicking this button, it actually uses the best spinner and you know through the API and then it'll actually then let you download it to your computer, the spun article. The spins aren't very good in that, that's why the spinner chief rocks compared to the best spinner when doing this. Or you can just download the snippet. That's all this content here and it'll download and you can save it onto your your computer. You can also, it's dividing each snippet up here and you can delete them if you if you don't like any of them, remove it from there. And the last thing it does is if you are if you use I need articles, which I do, you can send this snippet to your well, yeah, you can send the con all this content here over to I need articles to have it rewritten for you. So you have a hundred percent unique article that way as well. The only thing is you need an I, I need the art, articles account. It's free, but you have to put a balance in it. So deposit $15, $20, whatever, because uh, a rewrite of about 500 words is 350 I think. And so what I do then is I just select all of it, I copy it, and then I, I'll take it over to Spinner Chief, and let's create a new article back to spin. I'll paste it in there. So you can see that's that's the whole article that we created in Content Ferret. Now I'm going to go to Super Spin and I leave the, the setting here at balanced. If you want it more unique you can drag this over and it'll give you more uniqueness so it's not going to read as well. Or sometimes you want it more readable you can drag it over there as well and they also have these settings too which turns that off so so we'll just leave it at balance this gives you a a nice balance between readability and being spun well enough that it becomes a unique article uh, 
Spinner Chief also has sentence spinning, so if it can reword, rearrange the words in the sentence and still make sense with it, it'll do that automatically for you. If it can't do that, it won't do it. Now, if these settings don't don't create a unique article for you that passes CopyScape, you can go a little bit further. You can click Eliminate Duplicate Cinnamons, Synonyms, not Cinnamon, and then it has another thing here. It won't deal with sentences that lead to duplicate content, it means it can't spin them well enough to pass CopyScape. But if you need to pass CopyScape, it by clicking these, this will actually, this one, spin method one, will remove the sentence from the article that it's having problems with. It does this automatically. And this one is, this one, you be careful using it if you use it. This one actually replaces characters in the sentence to make it look unique. It'll do like a capital I, it'll change it to a capital or to a lowercase l, things like that. But so be careful using things like that. I, th I've, I it's not something I've, I've even tried using. I just leave it at these sentence settings here. Duplicate word amount three, unique word amount three, and I hit super spin. That's it. Now it'll go. It does its thing. It spun it already. You can see everything there. It spun everything that it can. So the next thing you have to do in Spinner Chief is hit the spin button. We want one article. We don't want it to use the original word. Everything else just leave as as is. The source just leave it at best. Use the cloud and advanced. I want to show changed words as red and all this other stuff just leave as default. You can also spin paragraphs if you want to do, but that doesn't make any sense for this type of article because we're grabbing paragraphs of different articles from all over different places. So that really helps us create unique articles as well. So I'm going to hit spin. What is going to pop up another window? I can open this window up a little bit bigger for you. Let's see what's going on. So up here is the article, and down here the words in red are the words that have been changed. You can go through and see everything there. And just out of curiosity, what I do now before saving it is I, I can do a copy copy skate check right now. Sometimes it passes. Well, actually most of the time it passes doing it this method, and sometimes it doesn't, so you have to go back in and tweak the the settings on the super spin just uh either to more more unique or to remove duplicate synonyms and then it usually comes back with a, a unique article but anyways let's try this look at that 100 percent unique article with just a couple clicks of the button that's pretty cool eh? so all i do now is then i just save this it saves it to my computer and i then i can post it post it wherever I want. If you have your own blog networks, it'll actually, you can set them up here and post it to your blog network right from Spinner Chief. So, that's it. That's basically all I wanted to show you right now. Hope uh, that gets uh, you guys some, gives you guys some help finding some other ways and creating unique, unique content that is actually readable. So, if I spin that again, So if we payday loans could be referred to as the amount of money s sophisticated to a borrower that is paid completely on his following payday. So that that word I don't like. But anyways, you see what I'm I'm doing? It works really well. These get indexed because they're 100% unique and they the grammar's good. The 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 way the ease of reading in that is is good too. So I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys got any questions just uh, post them on my comment section or just contact me using my contact form and I'll get back to you I answer all anybody's questions and have a great one talk to you guys soon see ya